What is going on everybody? Today I will be previewing the 2024 college football schedule for App State. I will go through every game on their schedule and I will predict which games on the schedule I think they will win. And I will also predict which games on the schedule I think they will lose. But before we talk about their schedule, let me remind you guys to like the video and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you guys love college football, then you'll love this channel. Because we upload daily college football content and we basically cover everything on this channel. So definitely consider subscribing. And also consider joining my Discord server down in the description below. But without further ado, let's get into the video. App State finished last season with a 9-5 record. It was a very solid season for App State. App State has been a consistently good team over the last 10 seasons. And they haven't had one losing season since joining the FBS in 2014. In fact, they have only had two seasons where they didn't win 9 or more games since joining the FBS. And next season, I wouldn't be surprised to see this team win 10 or more games and win the Sunbelt Conference Championship. They are top 33 in the country for returning production. They kept their head coach and both coordinators, and they also returned their starting quarterback, Joey Aguilera. And the defense should be really good again. I think everything is lined up for them to have a really good season in 2024. And imagine how dangerous this team could be if Joey Aguilera takes that next step at quarterback. He's definitely got to watch out for. And now that the playoffs have expanded to 12 teams, you'd have to consider this team a dark horse to make the 12-team playoffs. But anyways, let's get into predicting their schedule. And the first game of the season is at home against ETSU. This is the cupcake game on the schedule for App State. ETSU is an FCS school. And ETSU only won three games last season. ETSU doesn't stand a chance in this game. So no questions asked. I have App State winning their home opener and moving to 1-0 and to start the season. And the next game for App State is on the road against Clemson. This is going to be the biggest test on the season for App State. App State always plays tough against Power 5 teams. And this isn't just a big game for App State. But this should be a big game for Clemson, and they should not take this App State team lightly. The last time App State lost by more than one possession to a Power 5 team was actually when they lost to Georgia 31-10 in 2017. But since then, we have seen App State compete with teams like Texas A&M, North Carolina, and Penn State. And they actually have beaten Texas A&M and North Carolina. So yes, I would not be very surprised to see App State beat Clemson. But Clemson is a very tough place to play on the road, and I think App State will lose this game. So I have App State moving to 1-1 one -on, -one on the season. The next game for App State is on the road against East Carolina. East Carolina could be a sneaky game for App State. It will be a game early in the season on the road against a team with a lot to prove. East Carolina was a very bad team last season, and they went 2-10, but they do have the third best transfer portal group in the American Conference, and they have done a pretty good job at picking up players who could help them improve. I don't expect East Carolina to be great, but they might be better. But I definitely don't see App State losing this game, so I have App State winning this game and move it to 2-1 on the season. The next game for App State is at home against South Alabama. South Alabama ranks 120th in the country for return in production. South Alabama could still be a solid team. Gio Lopez could be pretty solid at quarterback, and he performed pretty well in their bowl game against Eastern Michigan in which they won 59-10. I still do not know if there is enough talent for South Alabama to be a top contender for the Sun Belt Championship because they really have lost a lot and they only went 7-6 last season. So I kind of expect the same season in 2024 from South Alabama, and I think App State should win this game at home. So I have App State moving to 3-1 on the season. The next game on the season for App State will be at home against Liberty. This could be a very good game and I could see this game going either way. Both of these teams should have good quarterbacks leading the way and Caden Salter for Liberty is going to be hard to stop. I do not expect Liberty to go undefeated again. Liberty loses 60% of production which is 75th in the whole country. They lost their top target at receiver CJ Daniels and they lost a few of their playmakers on defense as well. I expect the offense to still be very good. But I think App State will be the all-around better team. And I actually think App State will have the better defense. And they do have this game at home. So I actually have App State winning this game and move it to 4-1 and one on the season. But this game could very well go either way. The next game for App State is on the road against Marshall. Last season, App State beat this Marshall team 31-9. But 2024 is a new season and Marshall should be a decent team. And this game could probably go either way too. Marshall brought in new quarterback Braylon Braxton out of the transfer portal. And he is very dangerous on the ground. He's a bit inaccurate, so we'll see how he does at quarterback, but he could get the job done for Marshall. But Marshall does not lose a bunch of talent on offense, and they brought in 22 transfers, and I've done a very good job in the transfer portal. I expect this team to be good next season, but there's still some questions with this Marshall team because they did not have a great finish to the season in 2023, so I actually have App State winning this game and move it to 5-1 and one on the season. And the next game for App State is on the road against the Louisiana Raging Cajuns. Louisiana is top 13 in the country for returning production. Louisiana kept their coaching staff as well. The big piece that they will have to replace is Zeon Chris at quarterback who transferred to Houston. But they return a bunch of talent on offense and I can see them taking a step forward in 2024. They did not make any big moves in the transfer portal 
but I don't think they really needed to. Louisiana is always a tough place to play on the road as well, so I actually have App State drop in this game and move it to 5-2 and two on the season. The next game for App State is at home against Georgia State. Georgia State lost their head coach Sean Elliott, and they also rank in the bottom four of the whole country for return and production. So it is not looking great for Georgia State. They have done a good job in the transfer portal, but I still don't expect this team to be much better than they were in 2023. I think App State should definitely win this game at home, so I have App State moving to 6-2 and two on the season. The next game for App State is at home against Old Dominion. Old Dominion returns 85% of their offensive production, which is actually top six in the whole country. They lost 19 players to the transfer portal, and they lost their starting running back. I don't know if they are going to be very good next season despite ESPN having their offensive returning production percentage at 85. Old Dominion only went 6-7 and seven last season and I do think it is safe to say that App State will have it together near the end of the season. So I definitely have App State winning this game and move it to 7-2 and two on the season. The next game for App State is on the road against Coastal Carolina. I don't expect Coastal Carolina to be that good next season. They might be okay but they lost Grayson McCall at quarterback and they rank 114th in the country for returning production. They also didn't do a great job at replacing those missing pieces in the transfer portal. I know that they were decent last season and won their bowl game, but I do not expect Coastal Carolina to be that good in 2024. But in my opinion, this could still be a trap game for App State, since this game is on the road and they might be looking ahead towards that next game against James Madison. App State actually lost to Coastal Carolina last season as well, but I do think App State will win this game, so I have App State moving to 8-2 with the win on the road, but this could be a close game. And the next game for App State is at home against James Madison. This is going to be a big game for both these teams and the winner of this game could very well make the Sun Belt Championship game. I do think App State has more positives heading forward. James Madison lost their head coach and lost their quarterback Jordan McLeod and they lost their top receiver and their top running back. But I still do expect James Madison to be a top contender despite ranking 126 in the country for return in production because they still have a lot of talent on the team and they did very good in the transfer portal. And the new head coach Bob Chesney has a winning track record. I expect this game to be a battle and it will be a close game. But I do actually think App State will win this game just like they did in 2023. And I have App State moving to 9-2 on the season. And the last game of the season for App State will be on the road against Georgia Southern. This will not be an easy game for App State. This is going to be a sneaky game on the road and a loss in this game would really hurt App State. So there's going to be a lot of pressure on App State to win this game if they want to play for the Sun Belt Championship. Georgia Southern picked up 4-star receiver from Oklahoma. LV Bunkley Shelton, who could be a top playmaker for this team, and he's the player to watch out for. Georgia Southern also has a good head coach leading the way, and they rank top 40 in return and production on the defensive side. I definitely still think there are some questions on this Georgia Southern team, but I wouldn't be surprised to see this team take a step up and possibly win 7 or 8 games, and who knows, maybe they will be a dark horse contender for the Sun Belt Championship, but I still definitely trust App State a lot more than I do Georgia Southern, so I think App State will be prepared for this game, and I have App State beating Georgia Southern on the road, and I have App State finishing the season with a 7-1 conference record and a 10-2 overall record, which would probably put them in the Sun Belt Championship game. I am pretty high on App State next season. They have everything that they need to be able to win the conference next season, and they have a tough schedule that could honestly set them up to make a run for the playoffs if they get some help from other teams. They play Liberty and Clemson out of conference, and then James Madison will be a big game for App State. The schedule is tough enough, so I wouldn't be completely surprised to see them be the highest ranked group of five champion at the end of the season, which would get them in the playoffs. And imagine if they were to upset Clemson at the beginning of the season, that would give them a really strong case. And honestly, I wouldn't put it out of the picture for that upset to happen, because we've seen it before. But anyways, you guys let me know how many games you think App State will win in 2024 down in the comments below. Let me remind you guys to like the video, and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you guys love college football, then you will love this channel, because we upload daily college football content, and we basically cover everything on this channel. So definitely consider subscribing. And also consider joining my Discord server down in the description below. But that is going to do it guys and peace out.